Hello, this week I'm going to have a look at a couple of sketches that I've been doing for a, a, an art show that's coming up. It's called Sleeping With Art and it's in Hereford in a couple of weeks. Um, I was a bit worried that my usual work, which is quite small, would get a bit lost amongst the larger artworks. So I thought I'd try and draw something a bit bigger. And this is what I've come up with, these uh, crashing cars. So here's the process. I'm afraid the first stage is quite faint. I draw very, very lightly. Uh, all I'm trying to do is create a kind of three-dimensional wireframe. So I'm just thinking about the basic forms, you know, the, the kind of art shape of the bodywork and the chassis rails and where the wheels might be. Um, but I'm not pressing too hard because um, I'm changing my mind a lot about, at this stage. I'm just sort of roughing things out. I'm using a Prismacolor pencil, which uh, you can kind of erase fairly easily when it's drawn lightly with. Um, but once you start pressing harder, it's a bit harder to, to change. The good thing is that it doesn't smudge. Here's a, a sketch that I photographed at that early stage, so you can see just kind of how much detail there is or isn't. Once I'm happy with the basic layout, I start working my way around the drawing and adding a bit more detail and starting on the shading. Um, I just start at the front of the car and work my way back and every item I get to I add a bit more detail and uh, add the shading. Because the car's upside down I'm working with the picture upside down most of the time because it makes it easier to get my head around which way it should be shaded. I did a few experiments and to, to my mind it I, I realised it sort of it looked more interesting if I if I used sort of hatching a sort of pencil hatching rather than um, smooth graded shading where you can't see the pencil strokes it just adds a bit of texture and interest to all the surfaces uh, which if you just evenly tone the whole thing it was just a bit less interesting to look at I thought I'm not using any reference material I'm just doing this from my imagination but I have been around old cars for many years and sort of filmed and photographed them sometimes even ridden on them which is a fantastic experience but perhaps if you're trying to draw them from your imagination the best thing you can do is to just sit and draw real ones from life because when you sit there for an hour or so and study every little detail and try to capture it with your pen or pencil um, you notice exactly how they're put together and what goes on where and what sort of things you're likely to find and and also how they differ from each other what how do the proportions change from one car to another and how have they changed over the centuries um, and all of that information builds a, a visual library in your head which you can then draw on later when you're trying to draw stuff from your imagination so here i am carrying on working my way back through the drawing from the front to the back as I said, with the pencil being a wax crayon, it doesn't smudge so much, so I'm not having to protect the page with a piece of paper or something. Um, I'm not using any templates for the wheels because they're fairly large and um, I want them to look like they're spinning, so I don't need them to be really crisp and perfect. They're just kind of loosely uh, drawn ellipses. As I get towards the back of the car, I'm just putting a bit less detail and drawing a bit less firmly so that it fades as it gets further away from us which I'm hoping will make the car feel like it's kind of popping a bit and pop, zooming towards you. At this stage um, I'm just putting a very light wash with some ultramarine blue. Um, it's just to sort of solidify the the shapes. It's very very faint it kind of but it's and it's exactly the same shade as the pencil so it's, it's almost not noticeable but it's just it sort of makes the car a bit more solid somehow. You can see it's, it's fairly visible in this finished uh, scan that I did, but, um, but it is there and it does make a difference. So here are a few details of the exploding engine and finally the uh, hapless driver. hope you enjoyed that. Um, do let me know in the comments if you did and I'll do another one soon.